Let us pray. O oh Lord, we are mindful that spring is here, and we are gathered to bring closure to the season of Lent. Thus, as Holy Week opens, we will be mindful of the deeper meaning of this day and the week to come. O oh Lord, of the depths of life, we ponder the strange strength of weakness, the entry of Christ portends. Christ rode a humble donkey into Jerusalem, and Caesar sent his mighty legions into Jerusalem the same day. We are left to ponder where true power lies, in the metal stallions of the legions, or in the lowly figure on a donkey. Yes, O Lord, Holy Week raises questions for us. We ponder again the praise of the crowd and the thundering power of the soldiers. How did Christ hear the praise and see the power? We wonder. Was he indifferent to both? Confident that divine strength is experienced through apparent weakness and divine power is made known through a crucified servant king. Thus we ponder and we wonder about the true meaning of praise and power. Yes, O Lord, Holy Week raises questions for us. And we deeply ponder, O Lord, the meals of Holy Week. The brokers of power were praised during Holy Week for Roman banquets were held in lavish rooms with lush foods. Power was evident. But there was another meal held in Jerusalem that very week with only a dozen or so peasants, one a courageous prophet. A simple meal was shared under a cloud of gathering doom. But that meal has conquered time and lives in the world this very day to give hope and courage to those who remember the week called holy. Where then does true praise and power live? In lavish banquet halls or in meals hidden in simple rooms? Yes, O Lord, holy week raises questions for us. During this Holy Week, O oh Lord, may we find ourselves tuned into the spiritual values of life so that we may reorient ourselves to the depth and wisdom of your love made known in Jesus Christ who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.